I'm trying to sing a song here. And I went to a business meeting on Saturday morning. And I was walking along the hallway singing a song. And I never go to business meetings and sing a song on the way. Because I was absolutely thrilled going there. I got there the night before. And I had been really excited about this meeting for about three months. And I was saying, man, this should be the coolest thing. And I got there, and they, and they had a outdoors in Fort Lauderdale, because I drove, I flew all the way down to Fort La Lauderdale, and on Friday morning came back Saturday night, just for this. And I went out to the reception area. It's at the Westin Hotel, and out there, I met people from all over the world. And these people had flown from Australia, from Israel, from Hong Kong, from Germany, from India, for one day. And they were fabulous people. They were speakers a world renowned. They were just absolutely wonderful people, too. And the two that are giving the present are Don Andrews and Steve Seibel. And they are absolutely wonderful people. And you've never seen my staff, have you? This is my snake staff. And this is, there's a magic story with this, and someday I'll give it. But a snake is a magic thing because it gives off its skin and it starts a new life. And also, I was born in the year of the serpent, of the snake. And someone gave this to me and says, a snake, Roland. And I says, oh, a snake? And I found out it was special. And I thought I was a snake, you know. And, and I found out I was. So sometimes you're really surprised at how wonderful things are when you question them. When you think one thing about it and all of a sudden you have a paradigm. You look and see the other thing. Well, this weekend was absolutely sanguine for me because the present on the sales move me because I am now one of the founders of this whole organization and the special ones that were picked that were flew in from all over the world were picked to be part of the founders of this new speakers network worldwide speakers network and they're setting it up because they couldn't think of another way to get worldwide participation on a pyramid-like structure. And the ones that are going in at the first get all the prime time on the net because, in, in other words, you have a speech and they put it on and you, you're first when all these agents from all over the world come in and look at you. But the way they're setting it up, everyone in the first five or six layers is going to be totally overwhelmed with jobs. I mean, they're doing this worldwide. And one of our speeches here, Jim, here, Lucille, one of our speeches here seemed pretty sanguine, pretty common, pretty to us, because we listen to them. But you take a speaker that speaks good American and you bring them over to Australia and you're a superhero. You bring them over to Turkey and you're a superhero. You bring them to South Africa. So these speakers that are going into this and the agents from all over the world. So all of a sudden the players that are in here are being picked out by agents from all around the world. So your marketplace all of a sudden goes from what I can peddle individually 
to this group. And Steve is the president of the Million Dollar Club for the National Speakers Association. That means, in the National Speakers Association, I think there's 20,000 members. Of the 20,000, there's about 200 that make a million dollars a year. And this year, there's only about 110 because of the economy. Steve is the president of that club. He's been that way for almost 10 years. He's one of the greatest speakers in the world right now. And it was cool because, ah, I got to tell you this, I walked in with my cowboy hat and my staff, my dragon staff. I call it dragon staff, it's really a snake staff. And out runs Dawn. She says, hi, Roland. She ran all the way across the room through all these great speakers and hugged me. <laughs> I said, hi, Dawn. How are you doing? She says, it's so nice to see you. I just had been to a, a training session with them, and I just, just, I just fell in love with them in, in, in L.A. because he had just given a talk in Australia and moved, went to L.A. for a conference, and I went for a training session there. This, this stuff isn't cheap. It's, it's really expensive. But if you play in a higher arena, you pay a different price. Okay. However, he's setting the system up so that the price isn't that bad. Because he started down at the bottom, and he remembers it. And he's setting up a system where people that really want to be speakers can get into this. And he's setting, up, he's setting up a network of compensation where you can not only get into it, but if you can bring other people into it, it'll basically pay for what you're doing. So it's a, it's a, it's a great system. And the person that's doing the networking is the owner of Network News Magazine which is, has about 50 to 60,000 subscribers. And he's a good friend of Steve's. And he set this up and he says, this is the only way you can get an international presence in a marketplace for speakers internationally. So I am just absolutely 100% thrilled to do it. And if any of you are interested in doing this, and really think that speaking might be an alternative now or an alternative later. Think about getting into this now because it's at the ground floor of this massive process. We were talking to people that are setting them, they're already dividing the world up in the sales areas. And it's really cool. I mean, there's, there was only about 110 of us there. But all of them, were, you, start divide, you start spreading 110 people all over the world. There aren't, there's a lot of first players in there. But this thing is great. And the nice thing about speaking is that people usually work to retirement. Well, the normal procedure for speakers is they work till they die. <laughs> speakers love what they're doing. Every speaker you see up there absolutely loves it. Bill Cove, who is the father of public speaking in our country and a, and a, and a mentor for Steve, left the podium at 89 and died a week later. Zig Ziglar, if you've ever heard of him, is, is almost tried, tried to get it off his sick bed, his sick bed to come to this meeting. <laughs> These are phenomenal players. They love to speak, and they've all went through personal growth processes. All their lives, they're personal growth fanatics. So you not only have a crew 
that are wonderful speakers, you have a crew that are really human and really love everyone else. And the reason they get such joy from it is they get to give for all the things that they've gotten through life. And Steve is a multimillionaire. Plus. <laughs> because he, 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 he walks in, he's earned a million dollars already this, this year. And yet he's setting this up because he feels an obligation to those that follow behind him. So if you know anyone or have anyone that is really interested in getting into being a professional speaker, you have them contact me and I'll show them how to get into the network and we'll show them some things that were actually created by Steve's group. Thank you. I'd like to demonstrate something from the speech contest. One of the things that the, to the Toastmaster did was after people's speeches were done, he brought each of the speakers and contestants up again and he asked them a question about their speech. So Roland, my question to you is this. How, when did you know you wanted to be a professional speaker? I watched my friend Bill last year on video and he had went he had been to Toastmasters and got DTM, and he, he went to the Steve Seibel group, and he flew into Vegas to go. And he said, this, this, is, this group is great, and you love them. And I went out, and I joined Toastmasters in Detroit Lakes. And I went, and I stand up in front of my first group, and I told a joke, or I was just talking, and I saw people paying attention. I saw them laugh at my jokes. I was addicted. I absolutely love talking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.